Have you ever slammed on the brakes while towing a trailer and felt that heart dropping moment when it keeps pushing you forward? Yeah, that's your trailer reminding you it's not just along for the ride. It needs its own braking power. Whether you're hauling a camper, a boat, or a utility trailer, knowing how your trailer's braking system works could be the difference between a safe stop and a dangerous situation. In this video, we're breaking down the three main types of systems, how they work, and when to use them, and which one's right for you. Let's get into it. Let's start with why brakes matter in the first place. When you tow a trailer, your tow vehicle is doing double duty. It's moving its weight plus the weight of the trailer. If you rely on your vehicle's brakes, stopping distances get longer, your brakes overheat faster, and you risk losing control, especially on hills or in emergencies. Trailer brakes help distribute the braking force and keep everything balanced and safe. There are three main types of braking system used on light trailers. Surge brakes, electric brakes, and electric over hydraulic systems. Each one works differently and has its own pros and cons. First up, surge brakes, also known as hydraulic surge brakes. These are self-contained systems that don't require any electrical connection to the tow vehicle. Here's how they work. When you press your brake pedal in your tow vehicle, it slows down. As your vehicle decelerates, the trailer keeps moving forward. This forward motion compresses the hydraulic actuator located in the trailer's coupler. When that actuator compresses, it pushes hydraulic fluid through the brake lines to the trailer brakes, causing it to engage. It's a mechanical reaction to motion, meaning it's only active when the trailer is pushing forward. Because of that, it's a reactive system, not proactive. You can't manually apply the surge brake from inside the cab, and there's usually a slight delay. But they're popular for boat trailers because there's no electrical wiring to short out, and they're sealed system that handles water exposure well. Next, let's talk about electric brakes, which are probably the most common system used in light trailers today. Electric brakes rely on an electromagnet inside the trailer's brake drum. When you press the brake pedal in your vehicle, a signal is sent to a device called a brake controller, usually mounted under the dash. The brake controller sends a controlled electrical current back to the trailer that energizes the electromagnets in each brake drum, which in turn slows the wheel. One of the biggest advantages of electric brakes is control. You can adjust how much braking force the trailer applies based on load, weight, or road conditions. Most brake controllers even have a manual override lever, which lets you apply the brake independently. Super useful for controlling sway or testing brakes at low speeds. Finally, we've got electric over hydraulic brakes. This is a hybrid setup, gives you the best of both electric and hydraulic systems. These brakes use a hydraulic actuator mounted on the trailer, just like surge brakes, but instead of being activated by motion, the actuator is controlled electronically. When you push your brake pedal, the signal goes through the truck's brake controller and then to the actuator. This unit has a small electric pump and a hydraulic reservoir. The system builds up pressure in the hydraulic lines, which activates the brakes on the trailer. The result is a hydraulic braking system that responds instantly to your brake pedal input. The downside, these systems are more expensive and they require a compatible brake controller that can talk to the actuator. And they're a bit more complex to install and maintain. But for heavy loads or high performance towing, they're hard to beat. So, which one should you choose? If you're towing a boat and want something low maintenance and water friendly, a surge brake is a solid choice. If you're towing general cargo, an RV, or utility trailer, electric brakes are the most flexible and budget-friendly option, with loads of adjustability and features. If you're hauling heavier loads or want high-end control and stopping power, electric over hydraulic is the top-of-the-line choice, especially if your trailer has disc brakes or you're doing long-distance towing. At the end of the day, trailer brakes aren't just about stopping, they're about safety, stability, and control. Know your system, keep it maintained, and make sure it's dialed in for your specific load. If you found this video helpful, share it with a friend or colleague so they can better understand the options available to them when choosing a braking solution for their light trailer system. Drive safe, and we'll catch you in the next one.